This Memorial Day, many are remembering friends and family who died while serving our country. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Morgan Burrish. ABC 17's Hannah Falcon attended a memorial service in Jefferson City hosted by the Jefferson City Veterans Council. Hannah, today is a somber day for those who organized this memorial. Morgan, dozens gathered right here at the Veterans Memorial to honor those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. And while many people have a personal connection to this somber holiday, some, the person who organizes this event has a very special reason why. It is a sacred duty to ensure that the names of our fallen and their memories are not lost to history. Jefferson City Veterans Council President Don Hintes organizes this memorial every year in honor of his friends lost during the Vietnam War and one in particular. In Vietnam, he, he died in my arms and, and I made him a promise that day that I would never forget him and I would do everything I could to make sure he wasn't forgotten. I, he died so I would be free. Hint has served in the 101st Airborne Division in 1968. He was injured the same day his close friend Willie died, leading to the end of his service. But he remembers those who didn't get to go home every year on this day. A lot of people say happy Memorial Day. It's not a happy day to me, but at the same time, it's a day to enjoy the freedom. That, you know. And Morgan, this monument here serves as a physical reminder of why so many people gather today. Coming up at 6, I'll tell you what this monument means and a little bit of the history behind it. Reporting live in Jefferson City, I'm Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Hannah. What a beautiful story there. The memorial service was moved to the Capitol Lawn after the pandemic, and it used to be at the National Cemetery.